When a nationally declared biosecurity incursion occurs, horticulture business can be severely affected, both financially and reputationally. Biosecurity is everyone's business and every business needs a biosecurity plan. Hi, my name is Danny Tranos, General Manager of Tranos Hydroponic Growers. Uh, THG is located half an hour north of Perth in an area called Ginalup. Uh, I just want to show you through the facility and show you why we take Biosecure HACCP and our processes so seriously and how we protect ourselves and our customers. Welcome. The Biosecure HACCP program helped THG become the first nursery business to be granted certification as a place of pest-free production. One of the issues we recently faced was the incursion of TPP in WA. Our facility was shut down for 12 months. We believe Biosecure HACCP will protect us from potential future incursions. So we've uh, come into the entrance of Tranos Hydroponic Growers. As you can see, there's a sign on the door before you enter saying no tomato material past this point. Very important to protect the company from solanaceous material. So we leave tomatoes, eggplants, capsicum peppers outside. Over to the right, you can see the greenhouse rules in three different languages. Um, and it's pretty important for the staff and visitors to um, abide by these rules when entering the facility and the sign, so attention to all staff and visitors. We press the button, get the attention of admin, they will come down and sign us in. We're in the sewing area. Um, here we have all of our inputs, including vermiculite, perlite, coir-based products, peat-based products, uh, and rockwool products. They all come from approved supplier list, which is very, very important. Uh, they're checked when we receive them to make sure they're up to standard. Um, as you can see, everything is in an enclosed, clean, safe, and ordered manner. Very important. Hi, this is the next step in the process. This is the uh, change room, disinfection room. Uh, so. Visitors have signed in induction upstairs. Then we come through uh, this section here, which is one-way flow only. Uh, we go through a THG visitor's disinfection record, which has to be signed prior to entry. So we explain all the rules and disinfection of THG. Next step is I take my shoes off. I place them up here, as so. Then we go ahead and wash our hands. So we wash our hands. Uh, all the workers leave their shoes here on the racks, their personal shoes. Um, I grab my dedicated pair of shoes, slip them on, head over to the locker. Very important for visitors, shoe covers. So we assign shoe covers that must be worn by all visitors. Gloves must be put on and also lab coats. So follow me, I'll take you through the next step of the process. So this is the final change room. Uh, over to the left we have the blue uniforms. We launder all of these clothes internally in our laundry. Um, blue is associated with growers and behind you will see the grey and brown tops and green bottoms which our workers wear. Uh, the colour is very important to distinguish who is in the nursery uh, and it helps with management. Okay, and we'll get changed over here, follow me. Okay, this is called the hygiene street where we again disinfect our hands and we'll scrub our feet. It's a one way pass. Uh, if the, the lights will come on, we wash our hands and it will scrub our feet. To continue with the uh, protection of the plants, as you can see halfway down the greenhouse, you'll notice uh, sticky traps. They're very important for monitoring. Um, and in the roof vents, you'll notice the whole facility is protected by insect netting. One of the requirements for pest-free production is to ensure pests cannot enter or leave the premises and that a strong monitoring program is in place. Welcome to our on-site lab. Um, we built this lab to monitor pathogens. Um, we also have coliform testing, in-house coliform testing, where we make sure the water quality is sufficient and at the highest level. 
Uh, what we do is we test plants here before dispatch. Most importantly, we test plants before grafting and after grafting. So we collect plants in the nursery, we work off a grid system. So if there ever is an issue, we can pinpoint the area of the nursery where it is and act on it. Um, and uh, that's about it. So all the processes we've showed you so far are to protect these little babies here, which are grafted smarter plants, which are, are shipped nationally. We're here at Dispatch, which is a very important area for THG. Uh, as you can see by the pressure gauge, this part of the facility is, uh, has positive pressure. Very important, this is where we maintain and helps to maintain our pest-free production status. Uh, I'll demonstrate now when the door opens, the gauge will drop slightly, maintain the positive pressure and disinfect the floors. There you have it. The benefits associated with Bicycle has of accreditation, including market access. So we have free flow of trade nationally without restrictions, which is imperative for us. Grow confidence, so we stand by our product and risk mitigation. So as a business owner, we have the confidence that the facility and the production systems we have in place help us to protect against pests and diseases. So it's been great to show you around the facility today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you decide to take the journey down Bicycle Hassop. Uh, if you're interested, please contact Green Life Industries Australia and they'll help you on your journey. Thank you. Biosecurity protects our environment, jobs, economy and way of life. Keep a top watch. To report an emergency pest, weed or disease, call this number or visit this website for more information. Biosecurity, it's everyone's business.